Cocktails, I'm your host, Eric Schober. I have with me Doug Peterson, and today we're making the haircut. What? Haircut? <laughs> the haircut? Yeah. So I need one. You want to give me one? I think it's Simon. It's not... Yeah, it must be Simon. It's just spelled weird. Um, S-I-M-E-O-N? Oh, Simeon? I love that. Simeon! Simeon. I like Simeon. It sounds so much cooler. It does. It sounds like you were holding, like, a battle axe. Yeah. I'm Simeon! <laughs> or that's the type of battle axe it is. It's a Simeon. Behold, Simeon! <laughs> I saw the Hobbit. Morple, you saw the Hobbit? Yeah. Congratulations. It was, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It was good. It, it, but were you like my mom? I'm like, I don't like the ending. It didn't wrap it up. No, <laughs> I, mom, I, it's got I, three I, episodes. I went in, really? I, yeah, I went in knowing that it was going to yeah. be a three-parter. That helps. I can't wait for wait, the, the, the crazy-ass people. No. Oh, you watch on like, yeah, DVD like or Blu-ray or whatever? Thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched Jurassic Park 3D. We went and saw this. Oh, yeah, I saw that. How was it? You saw it, or you saw that it was there. You it was pretty good. I mean, it was simulated, it. right? Because it's not—it wasn't really filmed in 3D. Yeah. But it wasn't overdone. Like that was a movie you could have easily overdone everything. There were just yeah. certain parts where, like, like rap. You know, where the, oh, you don't like that movie. Where the raptor jumps through the ceiling tiles as they're like climbing up, and you just oh. it like pop right through, mm -hmm. and you're like, whoa! Yeah. And there's a couple scenes, but I think even you without the 3D, see it in, you'd still be in able their to. eyes that they're working the things out. <laughs> Isn't that from the movie? Yeah. Is. yeah. Right. But the the, the fact so. that you, you said it with such drama was I was like, really? And then I'm like, is he talking about the 3D or or is it the line in the movie? But that's pretty funny. Laura Dern's pretty hot. That's um that's a little girl. No, I yeah, know it's a, it's the <laughs> it's the it's the, uh, the ar archaeologist. Yeah. yeah. Tangent. <laughs> sorry. Ah yes. Uh, the, so the haircut. Have you seen Wild at Heart? She's in Wild at Heart with Nick Cage. Is she naked in that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, I figured there was a reason why you were saying that. No, I haven't seen it. I, I did notice in Game of Thrones that, like, every other scene, somebody's having sex with a prostitute. Oh. But A whore. A whore, sorry, not <laughs> no. a prostitute, because prostitutes would be making money. Right. Um, oh, they're making money. Yeah, well, yeah, it's different. Just think of tips. Anyway, the what haircut. Is? It's, it's This recipe was just invented after he had got a haircut. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Thus, inspiration. The All right, let's do it. Jack Daniels, one ounce of Jack Daniels, honey. Do you want to use your? You can use. What do you want to use? Jigger. Spinny jigger. Oh, the, this one. Yeah. You want to use the knock? The knock. Um, we're gonna shake it. So you're gonna toss it in there. That, my friends, is the mason shaker. Very popular. People have been buying them sets of two. You know. You know I don't know why. Why buy a two? Yeah. Uh. In case somebody one doesn't make it. Yeah, somebody bought three, but that was last week. We just had somebody buy two. So do you just... You just pour it in like it was a... I, I normally put it on my knuckle, but yeah, you could do that too. Um, half ounce of amaretto. He was very nervous. Yeah. yeah he didn't know. know what to make of that. Yeah, I kind of... Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with that. <laughs> Thanks. It's it's really just a jigger, you know. There's nothing special about it. Yeah, it's that's not cool. gonna hurt you. Well, I didn't. You know, I wouldn't like, flip you know, it too much. I like guess that. like right at the top is a fit line, and I'm kind yeah. of well. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm I hear you. you I'm right feeling now. you. I know what you're saying. Good. You're picking oh, up like what I'm putting down. Room. Yeah. Whoop. So we're gonna shake and strain this sucker. Why? Not necessarily uh -huh. needs to be done, but it Are will. You like to shake coke? No, no, I'm not gonna shake it with coke. Oh come on. But. I mean, at the same time, hey, you can spew all your knowledge hey. that you learned of I can your little spew my shaking knowledge. bubbles. Huh? When you shake the can, tapping the top did nothing. Oh yeah! Somebody said on Facebook they sent me a little. Remember when we were doing the whole "this is stupid and nobody should ever do this because it doesn't do anything." No, I thought you were no, supposed to do it. Yeah, me and Doug said that we always did it. And we right. Yeah. No, but I was saying how it was stupid. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh. Where? I don't see. Sean, handle my issue. Is that enough? That's good. So anyway. Oh, I feel it. So, if you tap like this, yeah, it doesn't do anything. So somebody sent a link. It said if you tap this way, yeah, that does something. This does nothing. This knocks the bubbles back into the into the liquid, and then it, and then you can open it again. But you have to go all the way around, right? Uh. Then they said, oh, but if you do it with diet, the bubbles bounce to the other side, and you can't do that specific uh. thing. It only really works in regular. So we're gonna put ice. In that. <laughs> Don't you have a massive ice cube for that glass? 
Wow. Wow, is this scripted? <laughs> wow, there's not a lot there. But that's okay, because we're talking. Whoa, there's a lot more than there was. Colossal ice cubes. Wow. Yeah. We sell these. <laughs> you just can't the put in any of our cups. <laughs> yeah, you we sell the ice cubes at awesomedrakes.com. We just don't have any cups that they fit in. No, we sell the holder, not the actual ice cubes. Oh yeah, the ice cubes would be melted, but you'll still have the holder, so it doesn't matter. And you'd have a very wet package. <laughs> One of those things that you say uh, and you're Discovery like... Discovery has an entire episode on how that works. Oh. Is that Sean? Yes. That's, well, I'm, he Pimpin said we easy. have an entire episode, so I translated to Discovery. Discovery. <laughs> um, that's really cool. So... I'm using caffeine free because that's my my son's coke. Oh, okay. I don't have. I don't want to use diet. No. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Uh, if that's ruining or not, I don't really know. But big ice cubes. I have. I've worked out by next week. I should have a glass that will hold these ice cubes. <laughs> that holds it. This we don't sell not in the store. Not in our store. But uh, we sell the ice know. cubes. So our ice trays. So I, I'd like to be able to have something that somebody could buy that they could put them in. Because they're freaking huge. Mm -hmm. And the, it has to be, I, I can't remember what the width is. Well, these are two inch ice cubes. Mm -hmm. So you need at least that, at least, yeah. to be able to fill that thing. Yeah. So this is the one that Eric had sent us with the Everyday Drinkers logo on them. Okay. So I got something similar to this, a little bit bigger. Okay. But it works, right? It does. This That's ice is awesome. One big ice piece of ice. <laughs> I know. Is this still the haircut? Yeah, I haven't started yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was my fault. The movie tangent? What yeah. do you like? <laughs> Sensitive or something? No, it yeah, was. I just asked if it was my fault. <laughs> now you're just like, oh, I know, it's my fault. It was my fault. <laughs> and I caught myself. And I was like, all right, let's get back to the drink. Uh, it, it, John's saying you don't have to tap all the way around. Right. Okay, maybe I was wrong on that one. Maybe the will um... Maybe In you just any have case, to lick it. <laughs> tapping on the top doesn't do anything. What's the measures? One ounce JD honey, half ounce amaretto, top with Coke. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I like how we've been doing this. You would think. And she just <laughs> now. So. But not so much. I don't know. It has a funky taste. Funky Colmandina? No, it tastes funny. I mean, you mean like that bourbon? Like that like that vanilla honey oak drawing out of that out of the soda? Tone oak, but yeah. Tone oak, yes. Um <laughs> I was trying to think. crisscross make you jump. Apple sauce? <laughs> no, I, I was talking to guys who wear their apple pants sauce. backwards. <laughs> right. Um, the, uh, okay, so the amaretto kind of comes later. Yeah. Right away, I get a, like bourbon. Yeah. Bourbon. Yeah, bourbon. That's the honey and, bourbon. And, and the honey, honey comes later oh, too. Oh, that's a good it, question. It makes it more to honey. It's like a, it's like a honey amaretto. <laughs> this is like sourdough amaretto, by the way. Uh, amaretto is uh, shira. See, people were yelling at me because I didn't tell well, them what one of the ingredients was. Tastes a little bit different too than other amaretto. That amaretto does. It, it tastes like amaretto. Right, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Like you could, if you used say diamore mm -hmm. or diamor, however you want to say it, it would probably have a little bit different taste. It's it's Ooh. really a three part series, and you get all those flavors. Yeah. I think it comes down to do you want them all. Like with the soda, do you want the soda? And I can see how this could not necessarily be a drink for everybody because yeah. it's kind of sweet. It's got this honey sweetness, and when you bring amaretto into Coke, almost those two by themselves, yeah. to me, I'm happy. Like amaretto and Coke, it's a great combo. Mm -hmm. This is sort of like your distracting young brother that comes in when you're making out, right? And you're like, dude, we're busy, right? That's your amaretto and Coke. And then this kind of comes in there, and it really, it's like sweet. <laughs> You're just still stuck. It's sweet and oak, mm -hmm. right? You get that driving oak factor. Mm -hmm. And you feel like there's amaretto and coke here, and then you get distracted by this, this bourbon-y honey sweetness. Unless you're a big fan of that extra honey drawn-out oak. Or bourbon and coke. It's the uh, same deal, right? On that combo. I mean, it's not. It, you know, it's not bad. It just. I don't, you know. you, this is for the. This is for the the soda and spirit drinker that likes more of a sweet side. I think. Sure. The coke is not just a transport to getting it into your face. Mm -hmm. It's added sweetness of all these things combined. Okay. It's a you want bit. a question of the day? This is a pretty good question. I want a question of the day, and you stream is going to give it to me. What weird things do you do on a daily basis because you believe it has a certain effect without actually knowing, okay. i.e. tapping cans, slapping the bottom of a jar to help open it? Are you serious? That doesn't help open it because I think it does. What? Slapping the bottom of the jar to help open it. Like that? Yeah. 
I always do that. Yeah. <laughs> Does that not help? <laughs> um, I always... Uh, it's got to do something. I put on underwear. Uh, okay, what, what do you do every day? <laughs> what effect is that? Yeah, I don't know. It keeps everything in the pants, yeah. I guess. What do you and do you every day that? that you do out of habit almost, out of I ritual? Mean, nothing would spill out of my pants anyway. It's just like an extra... I mean, if your penis turned to liquid, that would be a problem. <laughs> what sense that doesn't typically happen. There's no need to worry. <laughs> I knock on the bathroom I, I think door I even be... though the light is off and no one else is home. I guess I hope if there's any spiders there... or monsters, they'll tell me there isn't any. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do that is habitual that you feel that you don't even really know if it does anything? Knocking on wood. That's Especially totally people who knock on wood and it's ceramic. Or yeah. whatever. Fake wood. Fake you just wood. Say, you know, knock on solid surface. <laughs> you can't just take a a weird <laughs> ritual of of what is those what are those things called that sports people have superstitions and just change it up to your convenience. It doesn't work like that. Oh. I mean, that would be like saying, well, no, I'm not gonna go there. But the chat room wants to know what you know kind what? of STD you'd have to have to turn your genitals to liquid. <laughs> That's uh, a really bad STD. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you, you, it's something. not the trip. It's the water. Or at least I do it. The, the whole if somebody sees this, say bless you. I know that that, that you're not going anything. to hell. There's, there's no demons there's flying. There's no demons flying. You know, nobody's <laughs> nobody's hard to stopping or whatever. You know. I got one. What? Put ketchup in the refrigerator. Why would you do that? I do it. We have ketchup in the refrigerator. That's where we have our ketchup. But and Jennifer didn't even understand you. You you didn't need to do that. No, you don't need to do that. And I was always curious, so I looked it up, and you no. don't. Yeah. Things like that, man. Why do you do it? I don't know, because I my parents did it. Huh. Good reason. Right? What so do you guys salt do? over your shoulder when it spills? Nobody does that. <laughs> Come on. No, that's what grandparents did. You yeah. don't throw salt over your shoulder, do you? Graham did that. She's like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so there. Think of that. Think of yours and write it in, because I'm sure some of them will be pretty freaking hilarious. Yeah. We're done. EverydayDrinkers.com. Awesome drinks for some of the stuff here. Do you should not drink.